Tonight on CBS 47 Sidelines, the playoffs continue with the quarterfinals. No more buys. Would Central stay undefeated? How about Hanford or Kingsburg? And I'm Scott Bemis out here at McLean Stadium where the Bullard Knights dominated our Papa Murphy's Game of the Week. Let's hear from them. Yeah! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to week 13 of CBS 47 Sidelines, also known as the quarterfinal round of the playoffs. From this point on, three wins equals a Valley Championship. Our Papa Murphy's Game of the Week takes us to McLean tonight, the 4 5 matchup in Division I. Fourth seeded Bullard against fifth seeded Clovis. Yosef Ferris, co head coach of the Knights, looking dapper on the sideline. More on that later. The first half belonged to Bullard. This is Jalen O'Neill, younger brother of DeJounte O'Neill, ex Bulldog. Nice touchdown here, very pretty. 14 0 Bullard and Big Brother loving it on the sideline. Clovis had no answer for another Bullard running back tonight, senior Shalom Welch, already with two touchdowns in the first half. Here's number three, 40 yards to the end zone. Later, it's Welch again. This one for 53 yards. Knights up 41 0 at halftime, if you can believe that score. And the dance group, the soul of the Knights, with a lot to dance about on that Bullard sideline. Here they are. Nice. I like it. In unison. Clovis would keep fighting, getting a couple of scores in the third to make it 41 14. But Welch ends any thoughts of a comeback. His fifth touchdown of the night. You heard that correctly. Bullard wins 47 21. Scott Bemis with our Game of the Week winners. Stadium. It's a happy group of Bullard Knights. Let's hear from you again. 47 21 winners. Yeah, yeah they, take, they take care of Clovis tonight in the D1 quarterfinals. Let's talk with uh, co head coaches here, Don Arax and Yosef Ferris. Coach, what weren't tonight? I'll tell you what, man, when you're down to your third quarterback, we're, we're very fortunate to have this young man. And credit to our team, man. Coach and I talked about adversity. They came through, man, shining through like great nights. <laughs> Yosef, I see you all dressed up here. I think you're the best dressed coach in the Valley right now. Tell me the story quickly about this, this outfit here. So I, I wore this on a senior night to take pictures with the kids, and uh, we had a very good game, and it became kind of a superstition. And it seems like every time I put it on, we play out of our minds. So might as well keep it going, right? Yeah, it's working. It's working right now. Uh, five, six quarterback right here, Kai. Sunamoto, I tell you, you are fun to watch. Tell me about taking over the reins of this team because a couple quarterbacks went down. You're now the leader. What's it been like? Uh, I just did what coach asked me to do and execute what, like, whatever I have to do. It's fun watching. You're running around all over the place. I think there was one play that lasted like 30 seconds. <laughs> I was just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, too. I like a quarterback with braces. I like a quarterback with braces. All right, here we go. Shalom, big night for you tonight. Five touchdowns, four over 40 yards. Uh, I tell you, man, you were tough to bring down tonight. Were you feeling like this was going to be your night tonight? Um, I was feeling in the game earlier, and then when I came out, I just tried to make sure I was in the zone, thank everything to God, and try to get it going. You guys get central now. Next week, the top seed. How excited are you? I'm really excited. My whole team is excited, so we're ready to ball out. One more time, guys. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs> All right, thanks, Scott, and thanks, guys. Bullard, as Scott mentioned, gets the winner of Central and Ridgeview in the next round. Kind of gave it away. The Grizzlies, the top seed in D1, 10 0 this season, and the two time defending Valley champions. But Ridgeview, not your typical eight seed. The Wolfpack has won six straight games and scored at least 40 in its last three. An odd play here late in the first half. Was that a bounce pass? It's a fumble recovered by Central, and the Grizzlies take advantage. With eight seconds left in the half, Jamison Silva. Quick throw to Xavier Worthy. He does the rest. A 43 yard touchdown. Grizzlies win big 56 to 10. Buchanan hosting Bakersfield tonight, the 2 7 matchup in D1. Buchanan's only losses this season to Central and De La Salle. The Bears will play Central again if both teams keep winning. You know that's on Kendall Milton's mind. Maybe in the back of his mind, right now the end zone is in his mind. He scored there, he scores here. Big win for the Bears tonight. 43 to 7. By the way, earlier today at Buchanan, a ceremony for Kendall Milton. The Georgia bound running back received his All American jersey. Milton will play in the All American Bowl January 4th in San Antonio. You can watch it on our sister station, KC24.
Elsewhere in D1 tonight, Clovis West, the 11th seed on the road at third seeded Liberty in Bakersfield. Patriots came out firing. Jason Oliver with the catch for the touchdown, 7 0. It would be 14 0 when Bradley Senaway throws it to the wrong team. Dylan Tooker with a pick six. Long bus ride home for Clovis West. Season ends with a 38 14 loss. So, here's the bracket in Division I. The top four seeds all advance. Central will host Bullard in the semifinals. Buchanan will host Liberty at a Bakersfield. Just getting started on this week 13 edition of CBS 47 Sidelines coming up. The path to the D4 championship runs through Easton. Would Washington Union keep it that way by winning tonight? As we go to break, here are some scores on the Grappetti Automotive family scoreboard.